you know, you remember I told you I went and talked to the local PTAC, yep. South Dakota, you know, uh, PTAC, and um, the manager, project manager over there was talking about how some proteges could be sidelined, you know, after the joint venture co uh, contract is yep. secured. So then I had a question of how do you circumvent that? How do you go about what would Eric do in a case like that, say, that way? Um, you know what? Case, you I know. guess you know what I you know what? If you got into a mentor protege arrangement, right, and you um got a contract with a large firm and you said uh -huh. let's say the contract was two million dollars. Okay. And the large firm took advantage of you and they sidelined you. Um, do you think you have learned from that experience? Something? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So guess what? The the lesson that you will have learned will probably be more valuable than the money you would have gained. And I would have what I would say is I would tell you to do it anyways. Because why? You can't get a two million dollar job on your own. So That's what right. this guy is telling you to do is be afraid and not take a chance because this may happen to you. I'm telling you. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't be afraid. And if it happens to you, that's fine. It just depends on how you look at it. You may look at it as a negative consequence, but I'm looking at it as a positive outcome because why? Now, guess what? You can come back to me and say, Eric, man, I had a $2 million job. I did a $2 million project. You worked on a $2 million project. Do you have the past performance now, Gideon? Yes. Of course. You just told me you don't have past performance. Right. You just got two million of past performance. That that's worth something. Uh -huh. so Absolutely. The, so yeah. the people are operating out of a base of fear, and they're talking to you from a base of fear. Okay. Not you understand the difference? Yes. Yes. I'm not telling yes, you to, to. I'm not telling you to be. I don't care. I don't care if the guy screws you. Because what? It's not gonna. It's you're going to learn in the process no matter what happens. And what you learn yes. is going to be more, it's going to be extremely valuable. And I promise you, it will not be a waste of your time. Okay. Wouldn't you like to be you going through, make... would you not like to be going through an experience right now with a $2 million job? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. I mean, do you have the money now? So okay, let's 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 put it this way, Gideon. What if I said to you, listen, Gideon, this is what I'm gonna do. I have a friend of mine, he he's a uh he owns a, a company and they're gonna do this contract, they do two million dollars. Would you like to shadow him on the project for free? Of course. Thank you. What's the difference? Yeah. It's just how you look at it. You would go yeah. out there and you would shadow someone for two million on a two million dollar project. You would, you might even volunteer to help work on a two million dollar job just to learn about it. So what is the difference between working with a mentor who 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 doesn't pay you on the two million dollar job? It's no different. It's just how you perceive it. Someone like this P Tech guy, whoever this this clown was, he's gonna say, "Well, I wouldn't do it because they might just screw you." Okay. What did they screw me out of exactly? Because I wouldn't have had the opportunity if it wasn't for them. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have any, I don't have the experience if it wasn't for them. I didn't have, certainly, didn't, you didn't have the money to do it. You didn't have the, 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 you couldn't get the credit line to do it. So what exactly right. did they screw you out of? <clears throat> if anything at all, they helped you. <laughs> you. So you see the difference? It's just a matter of perspective. How do people perceive things? This guy, again, like I said, when I hear that as a person operating out of fear, I would tell you, man, listen, get in. Okay. If that happened to you, I would tell you to go back and do it again. And I bet you the next time you did it, you would know some, you'd do some things differently and you'd have more to bring uh -huh. to the table. Now you could say, hey, look, guess what? I just, I've already worked on a $2 million contract, so I can tell you guys how it's going to work. I can tell you what's going to happen. I can tell you what's not going to happen. I can tell you how to get paid. I know the payment system. Stuff that you don't even know now, you'll know. You know, yep. the first time that I worked with a company, like what you're talking about, the guy, he tried to, he, you know, we brought him in on a job 
it was uh it was like six hundred thousand, and uh, we brought him in, got the contract. He was the main guy, and he tried to screw us out of like eighty grand. Were we upset? Of course we were really? upset. But he, all of the paperwork that I used came from him. He taught me how to f- formulate my paperwork. He taught me how to uh, to look for subcontractors. He taught me how to be how to be weary of subcontractors. He taught me construction one hundred and one. Okay. And at the end of the day, we ended up getting our money from him. But th- what we learned. I learned how to run and manage a construction project with this guy. So I got paid <laughs> to learn. It's like a paid internship. Yeah. So yep. you could so maybe you might get a paid internship or maybe you might get an unpaid internship. But you're going to get you're going to be firsthand in contract working with the government. You're going to be meeting government people, working with government officials, working with contracting officers. You can't Buy that experience. The guy who told you this can't even give you that experience. Yes. He can't. Your P-Tech guy can't give you that. No. So I would, I mean, I would jump head, I would jump in head first. <laughs> I would tell you. Man, if you get something like that, you didn't go head first. Don't even worry about the people taking advantage of you. Nah, no reason to. Okay. No reason to worry about it because you're going to, guess what? You look at it like you're taking advantage of them. Like, man, this guy's about to teach me all this stuff for free. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's, you know, like, man, this, like, seriously, you follow me? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I do. Come on, oh. don't be, don't be uh, <laughs> yeah. negative about it. Be like, oh, listen, this guy's about to listen. We about to get a two, three million dollar job, and it, look, you know what I'm saying? I just got to tag along, you know. And he's gonna mm-hmm. teach me all the paperwork and da 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 da. Listen, yeah. all the lies he tells to the government, that's fine. You'll pick up on them. You'll learn them for the future. You're like, okay, he this is how he lied, this is how he got around this, this is what he said, this is what he wrote. And then he has to send you all the paperwork. So you're gonna get all the paperwork and all the documents. He's gotta send it to you. You're gonna have all the paperwork, all the documents, all the forms, how to learn how to submit the uh, bid, learn how to write the proposal, learn how to build the government, learn how to collect the money on the government, learn what to say, learn the clauses. <laughs> get in. You're going to get a, a, a $50,000, $70,000 $70, education. Yes. You can't yes. lose. Absolutely. There's no losing on that. 